Hey everyone, Natalie Giselle, and today I am doing my first lesson evaluation. So I kind of had to make my own worksheets and stuff for this lesson. And we're gonna be, I'm teaching centimeters. And I'm nervous because I've only done like small group stuff. So I haven't actually done anything whole class. So I'm really nervous and I'm freaking out and then I'm gonna have the teacher in here and then my evaluator is gonna be watching this. So I'm really nervous. Um, I'm gonna put like snippets of like my lesson in here, but I'm gonna be like cutting off the students and stuff. Uh, I do wanna show you guys what I made for this lesson. I hope I hit all the marks that are good enough for my evaluation, that way I can get a passing score. Cause I'm really nervous about this. I, I don't know so what I had to do was first I knew I was gonna be doing um, less sorry someone walked by but um, what I did was because I knew I was gonna be making um, or recording my lessons I went I got the GCU um, paper where the students have to take it home and they have to the parents have to sign it and give approval or no approval of their kids being recorded and then after that, I kind of worked with the teacher on what lesson I would be teaching. And so this is what I came up with. So this is the first page. Um, it didn't print out right. So I don't know, but they're going to measure from here to here with the ruler from here to here. I had to draw the lines because the, for some reason, every time I went to print it, it didn't work. And then two word problems. And then right here, they're going to try it. So right there, they're doing it with me. Here, they're trying it on their own with things in the classroom. And then for their homework, they have this. I did have problems on the you try it, but for some reason, it didn't print out. So we're just doing it on here. I had another worksheet now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I got to look for it. And before this, we do a pink board where they're going to do problems like this and like this and then exit ticket. So basically just for me to see if they understood. So they're going to measure it without the lines. They have to, you know, figure it out. And then this word problem where they solve it on their whiteboards, pink boards. And um, this will be gone with the sticky. That way they don't see it and then they'll work on it. I'll probably use another paper cover and then I'll have them come up to the projector and then show their work to the class for these problems so we're doing addition and subtraction here's my outfit I got Target whole Marshalls <laughs> Levi and then my Vans cold mornings but hot afternoons so I got short sleeves I think I look presentable <laughs> for my evaluation do you guys have the rulers in front of you? Find the sign that says CM on it. Thumbs up if you have it there. What do you mean? What do, what number is it closest to at the end of the other one? Six. And what are we measuring? Seven meters. So on the side we write six CM. That's how big the bottle looks. But how long was the book? 33 cm plus 22 cm equals 55 cm. And then he showed his work by stacking it up the table. Who else got 55 cm? So I finished my lesson. I did go into recess a little bit, so I had to rush the ending of. Um, the whiteboard activity but we got to go through the addition and like one or two subtractions i believe so it was good um without like editing and stuff the time was like an hour uh feedback from my teacher i'm working here with my mentor here she did say that i need to be more like good job guys or you're doing well keep going um Make, like be more expressive, more loud towards it because I'm very quiet 
and I know for elementary you gotta be louder and more like enthusiastic and I'm more like shy reserved so that's something I gotta work on for my next one maybe do less problems that way we have more time and it's not rushed so maybe instead of like three or four um, problems where they work and then I like watch them do it um, they could I could probably do two problems of like addition and subtraction and then I mean the first part was good I guess it was just like that part that was rushed because they had to go to so they do morning announcements and then they check folders and everything and we pass out since it's like the beginning of the week we pass out their um, homework sheet for the week where like they have to get signatures and stuff and then the reading logs they did announcements and then the kids do flag and the class motto so that took time and then when I started my lesson we took five minutes to do math facts uh, so that took part of it too but that's part of the lesson that's how they start um, their math lessons all the time and then we jumped into my lesson which was measuring and doing all of that so it went like into an hour um, but at least now I kind of know how to base my stuff off. I do feel like, as she said, maybe a little more class class, like like to gather everybody in because there was a point or two where um, the kids were kind of going off topic talking. So maybe I need more of that. I did use her as a cushion because I knew she was here and walking around. So maybe next time, um, I'll just act like it's me only in here and do that. So I do need to work on that. I need to work on being more enthusiastic and open and then class management just to make sure they don't go off track and we stay on the math portion or just like the work we're doing in general. It was really scary. I was really scared to start off. Um, but once I kind of got into it, it kind of like I was able to do it. I did have my notebook for like notes to kind of guide me on what to do next. Cause I already knew my mind was gonna blank and I I did blank because I practice at home and it, it was so different than what I did at home and then did here so how, having the notes did help me I just kind of wrote what we're starting off what I want to say like don't forget to add centimeters at the end you know stack like a Pringle if you need to we're not stacking like a Pringle bigger number in your head then count use your fingers counting with the other number you know, it was just like kind of a bunch of like those little notes and then it's like okay we're doing it together the next part is you're gonna work on your own measuring and then it's like okay take out your whiteboards that's what i gotta account for too the time it takes kids to transfer from one thing to the other while doing the lesson so i had once we finished the um the word they're measuring stuff I, I asked them to take out their uh, pink boards which is kind of like the whiteboards so that also takes time so i gotta account for that because i know in elementary kind of every little thing is timed and you have to do it within time because then you run out of time and then it pushes to the next day and so like everything's like rushed 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 so you do have to account for time and things into the lessons which i have seen being in here so for my next um evaluation i'm gonna have to account for that make less problems and figure that out overall though i think i did okay i do need to work on some things but i think i did good it was a good start for my evaluation my first uh, recorded lesson so yesterday was my first recorded lesson i was really nervous at first i didn't i didn't know how to start and just because the day had already started and the kids had already taken out their math facts, which is what they know we usually do um, in the morning, we start on math. So I kind of just started as, is your math facts out already? Rather than class, class, which I should have done, you know, to get everyone's attention. My nerves were pretty high, so like everything I had practiced or what I had wanted to say went out, like out of my head so i couldn't have done that it being my like second day or day after um what i would say is definitely at least what helped me keep like track of what we were supposed to be doing was um writing down in my notebook what we have 
to do. Like, okay, first we're starting math facts. Second, introduce the worksheet, like, or introduce what we're doing. So I had to do centimeters. So I was like, okay, here's the worksheet and here's a ruler. We're gonna be working with the, the ruler shade doing centimeters. And then in the projector, I showed it that way. And then I had them find it on their ruler and then show someone on their table to make sure, you know, they got the centimeter side. And then from there, um, just, you know, keep going down the list of all the things we had to do. Another thing is time management. Um, my lessons are supposed to be like 45 minutes to 50 minutes. My supervisor did say I could do it um, for like 30, but I was just trying to get everything in that I thought I needed while I was looking at my rubric. And um, I feel like I did miss some stuff from my rubric, which I did address at the end of the video, which was the like management saying class, class. Uh, like I said, the teacher was walking around. So I felt like she was in control of that. Um, and so I used her as a cushion, like I said. So definitely things to work on when like recording the lessons are class management, you know, making sure like your students are listening to you. So class, class, and then they'll, they'll say yes, yes. I feel like I'm repeating the same stuff, but as for your lessons, record lessons, you have to focus on class management. Are you like walking around the class? Are you praising your students? Um, do you have multiple ways for them to see what you're learning? What else? I would say print extra copies. Uh, I only printed enough for the students and myself, but it's always a good idea to have extra copies just in case. Um, you mess up or someone messes up and they're using like pen or something. They should be using pencil, but still and um, Definitely discuss your lesson with your mentor teacher that way um, They can tell you if anything you're missing in the lesson They can like help you add it on before you go and teach it as well as asking for feedback for criticism to your lesson so for mine, it was the class management mainly and like walking around praising out loud and just bringing the students back to focus because she ended up doing that because I was just like, in my head, I was like, oh, that's not too loud. Like, they're fine. But I know that's how it starts. You know, oh, they're fine. They're not loud. And the next thing you know, it's the whole class and then it's hard to bring everyone back. So that's something I have to work on. So that's all I have. Um, I don't really know like what else to include I oh as well as dressing appropriate you know don't come in like a tank top or don't come in like come in as you would for work like professional attire because you're also being recorded for your site supervisor to see unless they're coming in person mine's recorded so I had to upload it to YouTube um, and I dressed appropriate more than like a casual t-shirt I dressed it up a little bit and yeah that's all I really have that's what I did that's all I you know can know and take into my next lesson writing my notes printing extra walking around the class and praising as well as class management I don't know if I said that <laughs> that's it